Hello, hello. So today's Monday, the 27th. That means that everyone that has an account who is inactive has been reactivated for two weeks. In addition to uh, the free trials they're giving to people that let you go up to level 40. It's pretty cool. LFG is going crazy right now, which is awesome. Haven't had that in such a long time. And I'm going to talk about jump shotting. So after this little brief introduction, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what is jump shotting? Well, if you don't already know, jump shotting lets you bypass animations on skills. So if you have any um, skill, attack, whatever, that keeps you in place for a second because of the animation, you can completely bypass that by jump shotting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you an example using Mountain Crash, and then I'm going to do a still frame so I can explain a little bit more about what I'm doing if I don't mess up. Okay, so you're going to be looking at a still frame. And now I want to point out exactly what you have to look out for when you're trying to jump shot. If you'll notice, my character is crouched down. And this is actually what it looks like when you are hitting the bottom of your body's position after landing from a jump. Now, when you see your character doing this, that's when you want to hit the jump or your skill. Because that is the exact moment when your animation will be canceled. And you will basically just let the skill go. Oh, there you go. Perfect. All right. Well, I hope that explanation helped. Okay, so one of the things I want to mention is that weaving actually does mess up your jump shotting. So, um, one of the things for people that have to go up close quarters, I'm not sure if it affects ranged people. I've never had a ranged tune, so I wouldn't know, but... Um, when it comes to like using chain skills and stuff and you start weaving, that actually makes an animation and I'm not sure if you can cancel the weave animation. I'm going to say no. So uh, let's see if I can... Uh... So, yeah. Oh well, actually, yeah, there was a weave in there. See that weave training dummy? That actually messes up everything because I should have clicked Meteor Strike right after, but... If you don't pay attention well enough when you're trying to do like weaves with skills, um, you will actually miss it up because of the weave. Another thing though is that honestly, jump shotting isn't that necessary for these like close combat skills. I mean, sure, it's nice if you bypass all these animations and stuff, but when I'm um, especially in Candescent Blow and Pentacle Shock. But because we're melee and people like to kite, chances are people are going to be running around. So like you having to chase them and like you know do jump and then jump and it's just inconvenient like I'd prefer only to jump shot for things like soul strike well you don't really need to do it for that that wasn't a jump shot by the way that was a fail <laughs> but um yeah so basically to summarize that point if you're going to try to use jump shotting when you're close quarters weaving will mess you up okay so there are actually instances where jump shotting is detrimental to you doing better one of them would be with our knockdown procs. Now, as you can see, I failed the previous demonstrations, <laughs> but also um, our knockdown procs are pretty much instant, so you don't really have to jump shot them. In addition to that, people that are um, knocked down aren't really moving, so you don't have to worry about them getting away from you and you like getting ready to use your next skills. Uh, okay, if I can get this right this time, please, <laughs> I will show you why that's kind of a bad idea. Yeah, you see that? Um, that actually took longer than you could potentially do those two skills together. Uh, I'll cut, or, sorry, I'll cut back and show you how fast they go when you don't jump shot. Okay, so I'm just going to show you all three skills without using any jump shotting. And as you can see, that is slightly faster than with jump shotting. So you'll generally not want to jump shot for at least those three skills. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go find targets that are a little beefier than these um, weird birds that have a look of, like, sinister, I don't know, plotting on their face. <laughs> uh, let's go to these Bolar mobs. They live a little longer. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just do some random jump shotting again. So it's very simple, you know, you just look for a visual cue. It's, once you get used to it and you get a feel for oh, well, that screwed it up, but once you get a feel for it, like, jump shotting is really, really convenient and not that bad, of, big of a deal to use. So you just, you know, see, it's so nice. I think I think it comes with chains. Like, this is my hypothesis, I guess. But 
when you finish a chain and you try to go to the next one, it actually will weave for you and it'll interrupt your um, jump shotting. I could be wrong, but that's my theory on why it, I, it always messes up between change. Regardless, um, you can also jump shot buffs like Blessing of Wind. You can <laughs> jump shot your HP buffs. And I think you can actually jump shot both at the same time. Let me see. Ugh. I was doing this yesterday so perfectly. Oh well, whatever. That was very brief, but I think it summarized all the key points I wanted to make about jump shotting. So there you have it. Now go out there and make the world proud by jump shotting things you don't need to jump shot, like protective ward, woohoo, and stamina restoration. Well, actually, no, that's pretty good to jump shot. <laughs> you can't, re you can't jump shot recovery spell, but actually that'll actually be the talk of the next topic. So we will stay tuned and see what that is. Okay, so I moved a bit because change of scenery is always good, although I still have those weird looking birds and flower stuff here. But um, the next topic is jump healing. Now, this was actually brought to my attention by a legion mate by the name of Radio, and he said that if you jump at the right time while you're casting a heal, you'll be able to move a meter or so forward. That's actually a pretty big deal because after consideration, like I realized, hey, wait a second, if there's a guy that's like barely in range of you and you move a meter, won't that mean that they won't be able to hit you? I'm fairly certain that's going to help that, but it also means that when you start kiting, you'll have that extra meter on top of you. In short, like, there seems to be a lot of pluses with jump healing. So, um, let's see, let's go ahead and get started with it. Okay, I'm not going to lie, this is much harder to me than jump shotting, and um, I don't do it as well, because like, well, to be fair, I did jump sh I learned everything about jump shotting in like 15 minutes after actually analyzing and figuring out what you do, but this took me a little longer, and I still haven't mastered it, and by it took me a little longer, I mean like 30 minutes. <laughs> anyway, um, so basically what you're looking for when you jump shot is, I'm lagging a bit, there. Uh, what you're looking for is the animation mostly. Like when you're about to get the heal off, I'll just cast it normally. You'll notice that your tune is like the little pushing up in the air or uh, what is this? I think it's the same. Yeah, it does like the opening arm thing, you know, that's associated with all the heals. It's good stuff. But um, you're supposed to time your jump with that animation going off. And what you do, well, at least what I do, is jump and forward at the same time. So if I can get this right, let's see. Nope. Nope. Third time will be the charm, hopefully. There we go. <laughs> yep, it was the charm. But as you see, like, I got the heal off and I moved forward. Like, um, I don't know how long. Maybe I can get, like, a good reference by using this mob. So let's say I'm 30 meters away and I jump shot heal after I get it right, of course. This takes a little time. Oh, I went 22 meters. That's more than one meter. Wow. Okay, my dimensions were totally off. But regardless, that's an 8 meter jump. So, I mean, that's a big deal, and if you get good at that, it's like, unlike me, because I'm pretty bad at it, as you can see, I didn't even get it off that time, <laughs> but if you can get, like, good at that, that'll help, because every tiny bit of thing helps you when you're fighting, and this is one of the more, like, um, gray areas in terms of combat, it's not, like, something that you just do by default, you actually have to try to do this, but regardless, I think it's pretty nice, despite me failing at it more than half of the time showing it. <laughs> Okay, so this is another voiceover clip, but you're going to see what it looks like when someone jump heals, and he just moves forward, and it looks like he's sliding across the ground. I compared it to a forward Michael Jackson move from, like, um, you know, but you can call it whatever you want. I just thought that was humorous. Anyway, that's um, that for looking what it looks like. Looking what it looks like. Well, that doesn't make sense. Uh, one of the things, actually, that's bad about jump shotting jump healing, Ugh, getting the mix up, but one of the things that's bad is like when you actually do this and then you don't heal and you end up wasting like a second doing that, it's better in my opinion to just accidentally heal than to cancel a heal because the whole point of this is to heal. Have I said heal enough? I don't think so. But um, yeah, it's something that you kind of have to like get your timing good with or at least your knowledge of the mechanics good with. Like I'm really not that good at it. I'm getting one out of three, so <laughs> hopefully if you try this, you're much better than I am. Um, so let's see if I've covered everything yet. Uh, I'll be back in one sec. Well, that's all I could think about for jump shotting and jump healing. Uh, this video is very simple and basic, but I hope that it's helpful in seeing and 
understanding exactly what the mechanics are behind both of those um, two different techniques that you may or may not want to use. Regardless, I would like to thank you all for watching, and hopefully I will stick to this intro because I kind of have the title thing and the music going on now, so <laughs> I don't think any more modifications are necessary. Regardless, I bid you all farewell and see you next time.